You I, know, hear, I heard a guitar in there. Yeah, there you go. A soul-touching tune isn't just in the artist, it's in the instrument. Magic infused when guitar comes to life. ABC 2 News' Cassie Carlisle shows us how Paul Reed Smith guitars were born and made right here in Maryland. I walked in, I said, oh, I want to use your room as a this you is know, how it started. guitar factory. He said, okay, and he moved into my room. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. And we built guitars all summer. He Paul Reed Smith summer. building his life in his brother's room between semesters at St. Mary's College. Moved out of the garage in the little one-man shop um, to 1812 Virginia Avenue. And then we were able to expand that to double its size at some point. And then we outgrew that and we moved here to the old building. And then we built the new building. And then we had the snow collapse our roof last year. And we built another part of the building. Um, it's been an interesting ride. The music years later is magic. I was told that if you build something magic, the world will beat a path to your door. It's not true. What's true is that if you build something magic, you'll get an, you might get an appointment, maybe. When Santana came to Meriwether Post Pavilion, Smith showed up with no appointment. I wanted to show him the guitar. The tech said, no way. I said, well, just take it into the dressing room. He says, you're not afraid I'm going to steal it? I said, no. And we're talking about the beginning of my career. No, <laughs> take the guitar, right? And two minutes later, somebody comes out of the room and goes like this to me. Come with me. What he and his brother did by hand, now a blend of unique machining and craftsmanship at a Stevensville factory. It was created for the metalworking industry. All the jigs and fixtures that are in here, we design and we make them. COO Jack Higginbotham knows the process because he helped build it telling us the root of the masterpiece is in the trees, brought in from around the world. In what looked like car garages, slats dry, arguably the most important part of the process. The moisture in the wood robs the tone. It kills the vibration, just like listening underwater, you know? This is the worst state in the world to make guitars because it's 100% humidity and 100 degrees in the summertime and really cold and wet in the wintertime, and you're trying to keep the guitar from warping. So one of the things Maryland does is forced us to build a humidity-controlled factory, which makes it wonderful. So it ended up being the best place in the world to make we cut it in half. That's called book matching because you fold it together just like a book when you're done. You match your curl up. The wood is glued and pressed together. Then it goes to the artists who meticulously sand the guitar body to a pearl finish. A guy finishes building a guitar, he puts his initials in it. You sign each one. I have a real strong feeling about the people that are here building the guitars because some of these people have given this place their lives. Then the guitar comes alive. A light stain makes the tiger stripes leap off the front and gorgeous eagles soar down the fretboard, a tribute to Smith's mother. There are certain mesmerizing operations that happen inside of here, and this is one of them. Electronics installed to make it sing. After one last sound check, employees ensure it's perfect looking for any small scratch. A birthday tag tops the masterpiece with the name of those who gave it life. I have an idea of why I love the guitar. As for the man who dedicated his life to the guitar. There's something magic about him. When you're sitting on a couch with a guitar you love, you no pain, and you put it away, there's no hangover. There's something wonderful about him. He'll continue making his magic. We live in a good place. It's, it's nice to have a factory here. And thanking his employees for creating music right here in Maryland. In Stevensville, Cassie Carlisle, ABC2 News.